All right, so I just got my new 2024 BMW. Did not get the heated seat subscription plan, so I'm gonna go on the forums here and see if we can find a way to get around that. All right, cool, so this guy's got a tutorial here. I'm gonna go ahead and download this code, get my OBD2 dongle, and we'll go ahead and see if we can enjoy some heated seats. Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. What's going on, guys? We are back here again today for another exciting video. As you guys saw from the title, we're going to get into a discussion as far as the controversial topic surrounding the BMW heated seat monthly subscriptions. Now, before we get started, guys, if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. We've got an excellent library of automotive content. Support is much appreciated. Now, I can't say this is too much of a surprise considering so many different products and services these days are moving towards subscription programs. Now, me personally, guys, I'm always going to go out of my way to avoid subscription fees as much as possible. For example, that's why I choose to edit videos in DaVinci Resolve Studio and not Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you haven't made the switch to DaVinci Resolve yet, come on, man. Just, just don't look back. Just, just make the switch. No more subscriptions. Call it a day. So looking at these monthly subscription services for heated seats and other possible features with BMW models. So from what I can tell, it seems like the person that actually specs out the car, the original owner who buys new, if you obviously set up everything accordingly with all applicable features, you're basically set up right out of the box, ready to go. The controversy really comes into play when I would imagine the vehicle is sold secondhand to the second owner of the car once it is sold used. And obviously if the car factory has heated seats, you're not paying in that subscription. Unfortunately, it looks like you're just not gonna get heated seats. So again, there's a lot of information out there. Definitely not looking too hopeful for the secondhand buyer if they decide to purchase one of these cars used. I can imagine there's probably gonna be a lot of unhappy people if they purchase a car, even use 50, 60, 70 grand possibly with a lot of the different M models and the car has heated seats in factory and the second owner is not able to access that feature of having heated seats without signing up for a monthly subscription plan. My opinion on this, I think it's absolute nonsense. In my view, if I'm spending 50, 60 K in a car and it has heated seats for factory, I have every right to use those heated seats that I paid for that are equipped on the vehicle. I think it's absolutely egregious to think that an individual should be required to buy into a monthly subscription program to use a feature that's built into the car. I mean, I, I think it's just absolute nonsense, bro. It's just, to, to me, that is just ridiculous. I mean, the way this is going, I would imagine this is probably only going to be the tip of the iceberg. First, it's heated seats. You got to have a subscription. What's it going to be next? You want the M Sport package. It's going to require a subscription. You want navigation, subscription. You want to be able to use the paddle shifters that are installed on the car from factory. It's going to be a subscription. You want to use that turn signal? Nah, BMW owners don't typically use turn signals. Forget that subscription. Okay, maybe I'm being a little bit ridiculous with some of these examples, but I'm not a fan of recurring monthly subscriptions. I think this is just a money grab. I don't like the idea of funneling people into a monthly shakedown to pay for features that are already equipped on the vehicle. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this. Once again, guys, for me, this is just another reason why I absolutely love my F30 BMW. I mean, it's simple, it's a reliable, fun car to drive, classic, timeless design, no digital gauges, no giant grill, no monthly subscriptions. I'm a happy camper, man. You know, thinking back to monthly subscription, do you guys remember back in the day when PlayStation Network first came out on the PlayStation 3? And you could play online with all your buddies on PlayStation Network with no monthly subscription. You guys remember that? Let me know in the comment section down below if you remember those days. Alternatively, if you think about it, for the guys that had the Xbox 360 back in those times, you basically had to pay a monthly subscription for Xbox Live to be able to actually play online. Really good times when you used to be able to play PlayStation Network online without any monthly subscription. Then, of course, they had the whole situation where accounts got hacked and then the network got shut down and it just turned into a mess. But there was a pretty good stretch for a long time where we all just had like the freedom to play online as much as we wanted to without any monthly subscription plan. It was nice, man. Those were the days right there, bro. Those were the days. So once again, just to reiterate, there is a bit of conflicting information out there as far as what we can expect coming down the line as far as these possible subscription plans for features such as heated seats. 
doesn't appear that anything is quite set in stone at this very moment, but this for me as a BMW enthusiast, these are definitely definitely things I, I really hate to see. So for those of us that want to try to hold on to as much coin as possible, trying to avoid those recurring fees, I say we just keep driving our old cars, guys. That's probably going to be the best way to go about it. Just, yeah, buy a car, just keep it, enjoy it. Don't feel like you have to trade in cars every couple of years just to keep up with the Joneses and just be grateful and enjoy with what you have, guys. Sometimes less is more. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this brief discussion for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It definitely helps support the channel and improve visibility. If you guys can, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will be sure to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.